Hi. Bless you. Whoever is watching me. This is Prophetess Cinderella. Yes. Bless you that you are watching me, you know? Please keep on sharing, commenting. Keep sharing my videos for me. At the same time, comment for me. If you don't understand something, you have a big opportunity to write on the comment section. Yes, but comment respectfully. And share for others to also see this channel. To join this channel for a word of salvation, word of truth, and the word of wisdom. Bless you. Today I'm coming to speak about a person or I'm going I'm coming to speak about be a good listener. Let me tell you something. To be a good listener, you achieve so many things in life. Any person who is a good listener achieves a lot of things in life. Because when you be a good listener, God loves you. He, al he always wants you get closer to you, be with you, do good things. I mean, be with you all the time or cl get closer to, closer to you. Listen. Let's read something in Matthew chapter 12, verse number 50. The Bible says, Anyone who does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and my sister and my mother. Amen. He says, Anyone who does the will of my Father, that person is my brother. That person is my sister. That person is my mother. So, if you are a very good listener and you obey the instructions, the rules and degrees of Christ, you become his mother, his father, his brother, his sister. So, I want you to achieve good things in Christ. I mean, I want you to achieve a lot of things in Christ. So, and I want God to be closer to you, for God to see you as his mother, as his, as his brother and as his sister. I want God to see you like that. And if God can see you like that, it means you are a good listener. You are someone who do obey what God says. If God says go, then you go. If God says sit, then you sit. If God says eat, then you eat. Amen. So if you want to become a good listener, obey what God says so that You'll be close and closer to God. Amen. I want us to see something in Matthew, in John chapter 10, verse number 27 going. The Bible says, My sheep listen to my voice. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them. And they follow me. Amen. He said, my sheep, listen to my voice. So, if you are a sheep of God, it means you listen to the voice of God. And you do, you do what God wants you to do. And every sheep of God is a good listener. Don't be a goat. But rather, be a sheep. A sheep humble himself. A, a, a sheep is an animal 
that animal humble himself or itself that animal humble itself so anytime God uses sheep for us because if we are his children we humble ourselves for him we're going to be a good listener so verse number 28 he said the bible says i give them eternal life and they will never perish no one can snatch them away from me god give the good listeners the sheep which which is his sons and daughters he gives that sheep internal life amen he gives that sheep internal life and he let that sheep never perish and no one can take that sheep away from him if you are a good listener nobody can take you away from christ no demonic no prosperities no unseen spirit can take you away from god when you are a good listener you will get internal life when you are a good listener you will never perish he always he always covers you with his blood with his wings he puts you under his protection his hands is always upon your life be a good listener so that god do good things i mean so that god protects you from any harmful things so that he gives you internal life so that always sickness cannot snatch you from god chronic disease cannot snatch you from christ nothing is nothing that is bad can snatch you away from god amen amen verse number 29 the bible says, for my father has given them to me and he is more powerful than anyone else no one can snatch them from the father's hands amen you know the father that we are following which is jesus christ is powerful to extend that demonic cannot stand in front of him evil spirits cannot stand in front of him so when you are under his covenant, his protection. Who can snatch you? If you are obedient to his words, he says in John 14, 15, if you love me, obey my commandments. So if you truly love God, you will truly obey his commandments. Amen. Let God know that you love him. Let God know your heart. Because if you, if he is carrying you in his hands, nobody can snatch you away from God. So verse 30 says, the father and I are one. So they are one. Amen. Sorry, I'm recommending Jesus Christ to you. Walk with God. Walk with God. Do everything in Christ. Know that it's Him that you are still alive. 
if we if you walk with God with clean hearts, with obedience, you will get good things from God. Stop being disobedient.